As if the poor start to life at Chelsea was not enough, coach Graham Potter could be having another storm brewing at Stamford Bridge with goalkeeper Edward Mendy, increasingly unhappy with losing his place in the starting lineup to Kepa Ariza Balaga. How can one be so unlucky? The question of Kepa not maintaining his place as Chelsea's number one keeper was easy to answer 12 months ago. He was firmly behind Mendy, and although his reputation had slightly been enhanced by heroic penalty saves, his future looked destined to remain as either an understudy or elsewhere. As for Mendy, he was arguably the best goalkeeper in the world and clearly miles ahead of Kepa. He led the Blues to the UEFA Champions League title and Club World Cup and won a host of personal accolades in his first two campaigns in London. He has, however, spent much of this season watching from the bench, and to be honest, it's almost sad seeing how this has turned out. Let's roll it back a little. Less than two years ago, Mendy was at the top of the world after joining Chelsea from the French club Rennes. His performances for the Blues led to fans drawing comparisons with club legend Peter Cech, and the numbers backed him. This, however, changed almost within the blink of an eye, with the incredible heights he was producing in displays diminishing over the past year or so. This brings us to the question, is it all done for Mendy at Chelsea? Last week, the club released a short documentary about the goalkeepers and their training, and the Senegal international wasn't even featured, leave alone mentioned. You get this feeling that he is being written out of the present as well as the future. It's worrying, though, in some quarters, with the goalie in no rush to return from a broken and finger surgery he underwent in early January, an injury he sustained while in training. You would expect to see him at the very least training with the group, but he hasn't been seen since. It's less clear, though, as to whether the freeze-out is coming from him or the club. What could be a deal-breaker, though, for Mendy is his desire to have a better new deal at the club. The shot-stopper rejected Chelsea's recent six-year offer that could have tied him to the club until at least he was 36. He is currently among the Blues' lowest earners, taking home around £55,000 a week. He is keen on seeking a deal that will bring him level with Ariza Balaga, who earns double what he takes home. Well, you can't blame him for that. He reportedly feels the Blues' new contract offer showed disrespect, considering all he has done for the club. Club. The negotiations have hit an impasse, and Chelsea has opted against putting forward a new proposal, at least for now. The current situation has alerted Nice and Monaco, who are all said to be monitoring with the intent to tie a deal in the summer. At the start of the current season, with Thomas Tuchel still in charge, the Blues were properly humiliated at Elland Road by Jesse Marsh's lead side. Mendy started the game well and appeared confident in making early saves and controlling the game from the back, but he lingered for too long, and an errant touch allowed allowed Leeds to take the lead with 30 minutes on the clock. Leeds won the match 3-0. This could have been the moment the former Wrens man lost his Chelsea spot. After the defeated Leeds, he was dropped for the Blues Champions League clash against Dinamo Zagreb in midweek, in what became Thomas Tuchel's last match in charge of the club. With Tuchel gone, not many saw this coming, Potter came in and picked up the reins and chose to stick with Kepa for the next 10 matches. Interestingly, the Blues only conceded four goals in that period, with Mendy's pre previous understudy racking up six clean sheets. Potter was sold. Mendy got the chance to regain his spot when Kepa suffered an injury during the Blues' humiliating 4-1 defeat at Brighton in October, which kept him out of action for the final five games heading into the World Cup break. He failed to take it. The Blues worryingly lost four of them, and clearly there was no coming back from this for Mendy. In all honesty, Kepa has largely improved at least by his own standards. He is no longer error-prone like in the past seasons, and even though the results haven't been coming, it's down to the entire team and not due to his mistakes. But why does Potter favor Kepa? For anyone who followed Potter's progress at Brighton, this doesn't come as a shocker. The Englishman benched and later sold Australian goalkeeper Matty Ryan despite his good shot-stopping abilities, preferring to stick with a young Robert Sanchez because of his superior passing skills. The same scenario is playing out at Chelsea. His preference comes down to the fact that Kepa is more comfortable with his feet than Mendy. He also has the confidence to receive the ball from high up the pitch, and his distribution is better compared to the Senegalese, and is keener to play further off his line, complementing Potter's progressive style of play. Truth be told, despite being a decent shot stopper, Mendy has often been under immense pressure when forced to play out of the back and is often caught on the ball. And so far, it's safe to say Potter has been impressed by the Spanish international. Does this mean Mendy's time for Chelsea has come to an end? Not so fast. We don't need to look far for proof of this. As recently as last summer, Kepa's place in the squad was not guaranteed, leave alone in the starting lineup. He has been on the exit list for a number of transfer windows now, but never left. A little confidence will do. 
Sometimes all it takes is a good performance in one match, which could act like the first domino, leading to a run of excellent performances. Also, a change of management sometimes gives a new lease of life to forgotten players, and some always repay the confidence with improved performances. Mendy can still recover from his poor patch and reclaim his spot. You know what they say about form being temporary and class being permanent. Chelsea signed Mendy for £22 million and could be looking to recoup most of it if it comes to that. For now, though, those remain just that – reports. But hey, you know how the football world works. If it's worth mentioning, it means there's something cooking, and we will keep an eye on it.